Hello friends, this is Data Dawn. Uh, I'm here to talk about uh, ETL versus e ELT approach today uh, with overview on what are the pros and cons of each, of each approach. Uh, agenda for today is what is ETL, we are going to briefly see what ETL is, what are the pros and cons of ETL, what is ELT and what are the pros and cons of ELT and what is their conclusion and what is the best approach that we can use for our work projects. What is ETL? ETL is basically extract, transformation and load, uh, transform and load basically. We extract the data from a variety of source systems and uh, transform them according to the business rules and load it into the target system. That's what ETL stands for. It is an established, well-known methodology. It is in the market for quite a while. Uh, it is a standard process for all the business uh, data integration, data migration. Uh, etc. So to, there are various tools available to do the ETL like uh, Informatica, Data Stage, uh, uh, Abnicio, uh, etc. etc. So there are like a heck of a lot of tools available and it is very standard and is very uh, established. So many organizations has the serial tools. Uh, it is very well known in the market and it is very established. That's what ETL stands for. As shown, in this, as shown as in the picture, what we basically do is we extract the data and we do the transformation uh, which conforms to the business metrics and then we load the data into the data warehouse uh, which can be used later for the recording purposes. What are the pros and cons uh, of ETL? So some of the strengths are time to market. So ETL, uh, we, it's, since it's well established and a lot of tools available, we can just uh, uh, develop the project on time and it, it can be uh, deployed uh, on time okay and data requirements which basically is we uh, the reporting requirements are predetermined and we don't have to worry about additional requirements coming from other users uh, so we don't have to worry about the security of the additional extra data etc okay. tools availability so there are like variety of tools available in the market like I told before we have like Informatica, data stage Abnicio. So these uh, tools are available in the market. You know, there are many people uh, skill set available in the market. So it is very versatile. Uh, it is very flexible tools are available in the market. So that is one of the biggest strengths of the EDL approach. Weakness. Uh, hardware. Uh, so we had to purchase like a separate hardware for performing EDL. We need to have a scalable high performing server. Uh, sometimes we need to have grid architecture. It is all based upon the environment in which we are going to perform the ETI. Okay, it's a special skill set, so it's very highly, uh, you know, it's a versatile skill set. It's a very rare skill set to find in the market. So each tool has its own development standards and procedures. So it's very difficult to find people with these certain uh, ETL tool skill set, and they're like highly paid. So we, the, the, we incur some cost in this skill set investment. Flexibility. So it is not flexible. ETL approach is not flexible. Once if you extract, uh, transform, and then load. Uh, so once it is loaded, if you want additional metrics or if you want to additional uh, do additional transformation, you need to change the code. So that uh, there you incur some more cost uh, to do the uh, changes. So that's where uh, that's another one of the uh, another weakness for the ETLs. To overcome all these weaknesses, the recent approach is, which is called ELT, which is Extract, Load and Transform. Okay. Uh, it is a very new methodology and it is uh, to transform the data. Uh, ex uh, ex basically, extract and load process can be isolated. So we can just extract the data and then do necessary transformation and then uh, load the data. So there are like three, it's a three different stage of processing. So in case some changes comes in the future, we can just accommodate those changes in our project by just as the process is isolated. So we can just change uh, one day. The change will be very minimal to in uh, to incorporate those requirements. So that's one of the advantages of this ELT. ELT pros and cons are discussed here. Uh, it's very flexible. We can include many requirements, as many requirements as possible in this uh, ELT approach. Uh, it is it is future proof. So in case of future, after seeing the reports, if a user come across with new requirements, we can accommodate those requirements into this uh, approach. And it is very minimal risks. We don't have to uh, worry about much uh, much about the you no know, scope tweak, etc. We can use existing skill set in hardware. So we don't have to purchase a new server or a new special server for uh, this ELT. 
we can use an existing uh, database engine rdbms engine to perform eit so nowadays rdbms RDBM engine are very powerful like her data netisa exa data which has very scalable platform uh, which has very high storage uh, which has high throughput uh, so we can use we can leverage the existing platform without uh, purchasing a new hardware for this a new hardware or tool for this okay so we can even use the existing skill set um, so if uh, there are database developer av uh, developers available so we can use utilize them uh, to complete the projects weakness it is against the standard so the standard approach is etl eld is against the standard so if we accommodate all this transform transform process in uh, in the data warehouse so the there may be some performance impacts and uh, the downtime or uh, it may impact other projects as well so that is one of the major weakness and availability of tools since this is an emergent approach there is no much tools available in the market to perform elt However, uh, the uh, ETL tools like Informatica Data Stage, uh, they, they incorporate this ELT uh, in their tools. Uh, so if you want to do a ELT instead of ETL, you can use something called push down optimization in, the, in these tools, which will help you to uh, accommodate this, uh, accomplish this ELT. Okay. So when to use CTL and when to use ELT. So if your project is very small and if you don't see any uh, uh, big, you know, uh, component growth or data migration growth, in that case we can just use ELT. Okay, we don't have to purchase a new hardware, a big scalable hardware or a grid architecture. Okay, we can use our database, uh, uh, utilize our existing database to do a uh, transform. So that is the best way. Uh, but when you wanted to, uh, when you see there is a possibility to uh, for your data to grow and you have to add more components. Um, in that case, uh, if you want to integrate the enterprise uh, data, in that case you have to go for ETL. So the best way to uh, uh, handle this is uh, by purchasing an ETL to like every other enterprise and uh, accommodate all these uh, requirements. So, if you have any questions, please uh, mail me at uh, datadawn at gmail.com. Uh, please subscribe to my video and thanks for watching my video. Have a great day.